Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have seen about the on ready state change property and also about the response text property. We have seen it. On ready state change is not a prop, uh, yeah, it's a event listener, it's a property which is in uh, which takes a callback function. Okay, fine. So now in this video, we will try to learn about the we have learned about this ready state property. So now we will learn about the another important thing that is status code. So if you try to see, you will be having one option, something like console.log xhr dot status. Okay. So you'll be able to see one status that is nothing but status. If you try to see here, and if I refresh this page, and you'll be able to see one status has been sent. So that is nothing but 200. So what is this 200? So normally, in whenever we are trying to make an HTTP call, for example, if you try to see here. So we are trying to make an HTTP call here main.html and here we are able to see that 304 so just uh, empty cache and reload yeah we are able to get a status of 300 200 101 okay so 200 404 we are able to get so now if you try to see here we are able to see the different types of status requests here so HTTP request when we are trying to make an HTTP request to the server the server sends you a response along with a status code mentioning you the status of that one. So for example, if you are getting status of 200 means it is an okay. Okay means everything is success. And if you try to see it's a 101 means it is going still going on switching protocols. It is still going on. So this one is still going on. If you try to see this one is a 404 request. So that means it is problem in the browser. Okay, the problem in the browser. So this is something problem is there. So here you'll be able to see red mark not found. And here these are all the these all things are in the green color. So that means okay, fine. But this one is in the red color. So like this. So there are over what I can say is uh, 40 plus status codes are there in the in, in the HTTP thing. So 40 40 status codes are there. So I didn't remember exactly what are 40 status codes. Normally the status codes are divided into the categories like hundreds, two hundreds, and three hundreds. 400s and 500s so like this the status codes will be coming so like this you will be having so for example if it comes under 100 100s means like 101 102 103 104 105 119 some something like that so this type of status codes if you are having means so that means the request so this meaning of this one is whenever you are trying to get this type of status code these version 100 to 200 something so these type of things is the request is still in progress for some reason still in progress for some reason so this is the meaning of this one so the request is still in the progress the request has not yet been completed so if you are getting 200 errors so, uh, 200 status code like 200 okay 201 no content so like this you will be having some 204 like this you will be having so 200 status code if it is threatening means it's a great great means success so it's a success everything so is working exactly as it should. Okay, so everything is working exactly correct. So 200, if you are getting 200 correct, 200 status code means it's correct. So this one is detour. Detour means so it has moved to another place. So 300 status codes like 301, 304, 303. So like this. In in that one also you'll be having 301 temporary reduction, 302 permanent reduction. Like this you'll be having. So those are different things. We'll uh, discuss about those all things afterwards. So 300 means detour. So it means it move to a separate location. So that means whenever you are getting a 300 error means 300 status code means a resource is moved a resource is moved to a new location. So that means it has been the URL has been changed to a new location. So that is that is a 300 errors 300 status code not errors. So 400 thing. So when you are getting 401, 404, 402, 405, so like this, if you are getting this type of status codes means then there is a problem in the browser. Okay, with your browser, there is a problem with your browser. So the, with your browser, the browser is doing something wrong uh, or the request or the request. So there is a problem with your browser and not with the request. So for example, let's say that here we are having a 404 error, right? So 400 per error means it's not found. So that means the URL which you are trying to find is not present in the server. 
Okay, the location is not present. So that means the browser is making a wrong miss, wrong, wrong call. So this URL is not present. So that means the address location is correct, is wrong, which you are trying to make it. So that means the problem is there in the browser. So that is the reason we are able to get a 400 request. 400 status code error. Okay, so this is about the 400 thing. So there is a problem in the browser. So now the last one is the 500 thing. So something like 501, 503, 504, like this, if you are getting means, then this meaning is so the meaning of the status code is there is a problem there is a problem with your server so so for some reason you have made you have successfully made that connection the connection is correct the request you have made a request but the response is unable to get it but there is a problem in the server the server said the coding logic may be wrong or something like that so it returns a fine error so these are the different types of status codes that are available in the uh, http request so now when we are trying to make an ajax call so xhr xhr request when you are trying to make here we are able to get a status 200 code error okay for example let's say that for any some reason so here let's say let url is equal to normally we will try to get here let url is equal to like this and let method is equal to get request so these are the two things and here i can change with this urls sorry with these variables method and also here this is an url so these are the two things we can remove the true why because it's by default it's an asynchronous only so we are we are successfully make, able to make a call right for some reason I, I have changed this one to something like this okay so which the url does not exist which the file does not exist now if you try to make it the ready state will be four why because here the problem we are making it from the browser state so the ready state will be 4 but the status which you are trying to return will be a 404 so let's see the output so here if i try to do it so hi lila i am able to get it but we are able to get a 404 error why because so the page is not able to find it so but we are able to show this hi lila and we are trying to show the response text so that means excess chart dot status we are getting we are returning that one as something like 404 so that means we need to check again with a condition in a such a way that ampersand ampersand when this xhr dot status is equal to is equal to 200 then only we need to show this one or otherwise else so here i can show that console.log or anything or document dot write document dot write i can show hmm, some problem occurred or anything okay that's it so if you try to see the output so if i try to refresh this page here if i try to see some problem occurred some problem occurred some problem occurred so we are able to see that has been pasted four times so one two three three times it has been pasted for example if you try to remove this one so that is also one one issue we'll try to solve that one also now if i try to see the output if i click here some problem occurred some problem occurred you're getting high lila we are able to get it and we are able to get the output so that means all the time when the ready state is not equal to 4 then it is going into the else part so that one we can uh, remove it that one all so like this we need to check with the status condition so this is the on ready state change so instead of using this on ready state change and all those things so there is also an another handy method that is nothing but on load so instead of checking this extra condition ready state is equal to is equal to 4 so when the ready state is equal to is equal to 4 this on load function will be fine so when this on load event listener will be filed is when the ready state is equal to is equal to 4 so that means there is no need for us to check for the ready state is equal to is equal to 4 in this on load so we can replace this entire code and we can or otherwise i can do xhr on load okay instead of using so that means when i am trying to write xhr on load means already it is checking already this one will be fired when ready state is equal to is equal to 4 so now this one is the logic now if you try to see the output so now it will work exactly perfectly fine refresh this page and click here hi lila and if i try to get anything wrong something like any mirror message or anything so sorry the file name wrong means and if i click here some problem occurs. see so how nice it is now you will now i think you understood about this on load event listener also when it will be firing exactly so on load event when you are trying to use it means so there is no need for us to check the ready state is equal to is equal to 4 so when the ready state is equal to is equal to 4 only then on load will be fine now you can check with the status things and we can do whatever the thing you want it so this is about the status HTTP status codes. Hope you understood about this one. If you have any doubts or any sessions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.